Welcome to Garden Infatuation. In this video, I'm going to prune this overgrown wisteria and succession plant, sunflowers. If you're new to gardening and you don't know what wisteria looks like, it has grape-like flowers that blooms in early spring. Wisteria put out uh, whip-like tendrils that they're gonna use to wrap around um, the structure that they're climbing on. You wanna trim this after they bloom in about July. And you want to count back the little leaf, count back the little leaf nodes, go back about five. I trimmed mine a little harder than that because it was impeding the uh, gate and we couldn't get through. So you want to cut it right before there, where my finger is. Whoops, there's my finger. And uh, it'll also help promote blooming. It'll send out new shoots right there. And this wisteria has been here for quite some time, probably about 20 years. And it likes to attach itself to everything. It attaches itself to the barbecue and it attaches itself to the house. So it's important to keep them in check. starting to look better already and I can open the gate and these flowers here will be happy they can they'll still have a little shade we have a mini hosta which you probably can't see very well but after I clean it up and some pansies there's a couple things I want you to know number one um, you cannot kill an established wisteria it's impossible so don't worry about pruning it two years ago I cut this completely back there wasn't a leaf on it and in about two weeks it was sprouting again the second thing I want you to know it is is that it is poisonous all parts of wisteria are poisonous 
So make sure your kids and your pets do not eat it. I don't want you to panic about it being poisonous as we've had pets and children and we've never had any issues with it. what it looks like on the other side of the trellis and inside the trellis and in fact when I cut it down two years ago I cut it down to repair the trellis because it had been about 15 years or so and you can see that the wisteria broke all the lattice work there isn't much of a trellis left on this side and if you want to propagate wisteria is really easy to propagate you can just take a runner like that's close to the ground and scour it up a bit and place a rock on it and it'll root and this is what I've done over here in the garden I rooted a wisteria because I'm hoping to make a bonsai out of it a lot of people succession plant in the garden but you can also do it with flowers I planted this sunflower about a month ago. It's called Sunny Days. It's a dwarf compact mix from Vessi Seeds. And tonight we're gonna plant some other varieties so that we have sunflower blooms the end of August through September. Tonight in my vegetable garden, we're gonna plant early Russian sunflower, gigantus sunflower, and I'm really looking forward to teddy bear sunflower. I haven't grown any of these varieties before. They come from Vessi seeds. So let's go and pop a few of these seeds in the garden. Getting lots of rain tomorrow, so I'm not going to water them in too much. You want to plant these larger varieties about 20 to 24 inches apart. This is my first year for a vegetable garden. I don't have the best soil, as you can see, and we've got plans to amend my little garden this fall. I did amend it with five bags of cow manure before I plant it, but I think my tomatoes are looking good. And I think my peppers are looking good. I need to take the styrofoam cups off them. I use those to protect them from cutworms because I was having a problem with cutworms and my radishes. This little garden now has some breathing room now that the wisteria is pruned. 
There's Jilly chasing the cat. If you like this video, subscribe, share, and hit that like button. Thank you.